Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nachreiner. Today's story is Tesla hacking. Before I start, sorry there haven't been any videos lately. I've been traveling, so I haven't had time to make them. In any case, today's story comes from a Chinese research group called the Keen Security Labs, and essentially they found a way to remotely hack a Tesla car. Now, for security reasons, or more for our security reasons, they haven't released full details about this vulnerability yet. Rather, they've only shown a video of them actually demonstrating it. But long story short, if they can get a Tesla owner to use the inboard uh, system to actually browse to a particular website, they seem to be able to leverage an exploit that allows them to take over the entire car, updating its firmware, and thus gaining control of all the ECUs or other computers in the car. Now once they have control of the car, they can do things other car hackers have done in the past. In the demonstration, as someone's driving the car, they show how they can uh, turn on wipers, unlock doors pop open the trunk or sunroof and things like that. Now many of these type of things where you can only uh, mess with the electronics in the car are irritating but may not be that dangerous. But in their final attack they also showed how an attacker from 12 miles away over the internet presumably they're able to press a button and just immediately break the car. So that one in particular is pretty dangerous. In any case the good news is within 10 days of actually getting this new uh, full disclosure Tesla released an over-the-air update for all their cars. So not only do they update it, but with their over-the-air update mechanism, they can actually patch all their customers' cars immediately. The other thing Tesla pointed out was they mentioned that in this particular web-based attack, I'm presuming this is some sort of web drive by download that allows them to gain access to the car and thus override its firmware. But in any case, for this drive by download attack to work, the bad guys also have to set up an evil access point, a Wi-Fi access point that the car has to connect to. So it's more than just getting someone to go to a particular web page, but you also, at the beginning of the attack, have to be within proximity of the car to get the car to connect to an evil access point. In any case, perhaps in the future, the research group will share more details about the vulnerability, especially now that it's patched. Now, if you're a Tesla owner, the practical update is simple. You want this update, so make sure to let the over-the-air update work. If you're not a Tesla owner, this is still kind of an interesting example of a uh, how cars are being focused on for hacks. Increasingly, many of the devices in our lives, including cars, have a bunch of computers in them, so we now need to consider security in all these new Internet of Things connected devices. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.